It's time for another poem. Um, <laughs> this, this is a poem uh, about uh, Liverpool, about the Beatles in Liverpool. You know, you wonder how this whole thing started. What, what, what gave uh, these four young guys uh, after World War II in Liverpool the impetus to do what they did and become uh, such an original driving force in music. Well, I tried to puzzle that out in a poem. This is called Post-War Sunshine. And it starts out with a uh, quote from Mark Lewison, who's the great uh, exhaustive biographer of the Beatles. And he said, um, Liverpool, <laughs> that great matrix of Anglo-Celtic alchemy. Okay? So, you know, you have to realize Liverpool is just right across the water from Dublin. <coughs> A lot of back and forth between England and Ireland up there. That's got to have something to do with it. Imagine your grandparents carrying across the Irish Sea the deprivations of a famine. Behind that, the cruelties of Cromwell. Imagine your parents hand to mouth scuffle in that port city, serving the commodious God of the Merseyside docks and warehouses, the merciless gospel of capital. Then imagine the war finding you again, this time Hitler pounding that hub of trade and commerce, killing thousands from the air, the living forest underground masking their light. Imagine afterward a habitual fear of the sky, of raising too high a profile to the predators. Imagine growing into one's body in a womb that is taken in that trouble. Imagine your playground the rubbled buildings, childhood gangs in the unreconstructed bombies. That's what they call those bomb holes, bombies that they played in. Imagine your playground, the rubbled buildings, childhood games in the unreconstructed bombies. Later, the Teds like unexercised revenants on the mean streets of Spake, the Dingle. Yet good things still happen after a war. Against the past, against the odds, gray skies must break. Sun suggests again the contour of what was lost, what is worth recovering. Celebration is not only possible, again, but necessary. Families sing the louder, each member stepping up to take their turn. While the parents juggle extra jobs to feed their children, there are those children fed on music, implausibly raising a spare quid for a plywood guitar. The second-hand drum set busing across town to learn a new chord, rummaging the record shops for the outrageous new rock and roll imports. Go back and listen to them again, and you may hear in their voices, in the furious joy <clears throat> of their playing in defiance of all of this, their desperation and style, how they rose, each of them, from some gritty seed bed of stalks, tough and resilient enough to become the unlikely sunflowers we know them as. Each sadness tempered, who with the alchemy of song transformed the gray dross of the given, mundane strawberry field and penny lane into a gift for the world that the sun may resume its indiscriminate work of healing the brokenness historical trauma inflicts on us, which we then inflict on our children. Thank you.